that. So I'm actually going to take this text. So to start thinking mobile first, what I'm actually going to do is completely remove my media query. So let's take this out and take that out. So we are left with this. Now we don't want this code just floating around like that. So I'm actually going to take this text align center and make it the new default. And I'm going to take this flex direction column and I'm going to make that the new default. And we can delete this extra stuff here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to delete these for the moment. And you're going to see why. Because when I delete that, and if we hadn't had the media query there at all, and we go and take a look at it, at small screen sizes, we're almost done. We've, we've sort of done the mobile first design. There's, there's not a lot to it here that we're missing. There's some spacing issues. We need a little bit of margin to separate some stuff. A few little decorations here or there. This just needs the box. We need to fix that typography thing I talked about. But you're sort of 90% of the way there. The problem with working on the big screen first is you're writing a bunch of code and then you're overwriting it all at the small screen size. You're resetting your columns back to what they were before. You're changing things to be back the way if you hadn't done it, it's exactly what it would have looked like. Now, the problem is when we get to the big screens, it just starts stretching and not looking so nice. So what we want to do is build in that point where all of a sudden at one point we go, okay, we're big enough. Now we're going to add the two columns in there. So that's where the media query comes in. So we can add that back in now at media. But what I'm going to say this time is we're going to do a min width instead of a max width of 675 pixels. So now we can say our container flex flex direction is row. So right away by doing that, if we come and take a look, when we hit the right screen size, oh, now we have two columns and then we have one. And it's working pretty good. Now, I never set any sizes on this. This is just the defaults that are popping up right now. Is now I could say my main has the width of, I said 75. My aside has the width of 20. And that's it. I don't have to worry about, whoops, I don't want that there. Um, I don't have to worry about overwriting this anywhere. I don't have to go and all of a sudden say, whoop. I also need to now in my media query, like I don't have this as my default that I then need to reset up to 100%. So we've just set it one time. We've redefined it for the big screen because the small screen was perfect. And in general, small screens are much simpler. So it's a lot easier to do all of your small screen stuff and then add on a few little things here and there afterward. So now if we go look, we have our gap between there and everything is starting to fall into place.